Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you a design that it's been um, there on the comments all the time. And I just want to make sure before I start the video, remember, I'm not taking requests. Really, if you request for something, probably I will not make it. Or we take, it will take forever. Or make, maybe I will make it next day. But um, it's just I don't like that pressure to feel that I have to, you know, make something, especially if I don't really have any other events to do. Um, but good thing is um, I made Princess Belle and I think it's really cool now the idea, all the techniques that you are going to see because of watching this video. Let me turn the light because I have my light and I forgot to turn it on. Woo! Better. <laughs> okay, so this is the design and the idea is something not complicated, something, you know, fast, but also changing some things when i see pictures and if I, you go to google clip art and you you know type um what is bell princess bell clip art so you will see that choice and that is kind of my main inspiration okay that is the picture i choose now from that came this idea um this part reminds me of mr boma balloon you know he makes really good princesses but then the rest is kind of the idea that you don't have to see the whole arms, especially because I'm not going to make the gloves yellow. The, when she's wearing the yellow dress, she have yellow gloves. Yeah, but I don't want to do all that. So I prefer to keep it in the back. So it's there. It's like she's going to prison, to prison, to prison. She's going to jail. But you can also change this and put it on the front. Okay, so we're going to do that and see what happens. For the face, big eyes, I like that. I like the idea of big eyes, you know, but it doesn't have to be that way. If you have printed balloons, and I'm talking about these printed balloons, I'm going to inflate it. It will make things much faster, much easier. I'm going to blow the balloon so you can see what I'm talking about. And now these printed faces, you know, are cool. And you can find it at LA Rocks or I think also at Bargain's Balloons. But... It's more expensive when you have the ones with the link part with the here, like the linking balloons of these printed faces are much more expensive. So if this is you know, for a birthday girl and you want to bring this, awesome. Now, a lot of things can vary it. And also if you want to do and give it a time, because it's just time to, you know, make the hands with their gloves, even shoes and everything, you know, more detail. You can go and put more balloons for the dress. But for me, I'm always, <laughs> especially because it's not like I really want to do. But now that it's done, I like it. <laughs> but it's like, I don't want to make a princess bell. But now it's here and I like it. So there we go. But remember, please don't expect me to make you request. Okay, this is uh, what is uh, subscribers asking for princess bell for a long time ago. And I was like, hmm. Okay, and he always is still requesting and requesting Princess Bell, Princess Bell, and it's like, mm. but now that I'm here sitting, I was thinking, okay, what to do? Should I make Princess Bell so this person don't request any more balloons? <laughs> Let's do that. So I did it. I did it, and this is the, I hope you like it. If you're watching this video, I hope you like it. I think it's Connor, your name. So let's do it. Um, Different sizes balloons. Another detail, look at the hair. And this type of hair is another cool thing that we can make about this design. So you will need lots of balloons, yes. So this is a one, two, what else? Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six balloons. Yeah, at least six balloons design. If I'm counting even this, seven, maybe the face. So let's do that. Uh, yellow, you will need yellow. 260 and this is going to be noisy because I'm using the noisy one. Okay. Something about a uh, five finger towel, tight. Okay. And you're going to do with this what? Make two pinch twists. Yep, two pinch twists. Then like two finger bubble, twist, 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 twist. Another two finger bubble, twist, 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 twist. Then two more pinch twists. Okay. So when you have that, you can let go of these two, it's okay, but the idea is now you're going to close it together, close it with a four finger bubble, okay, and you have this, you have this, look at 
with this cool part why i'm doing that because i want you know to have you know the breast for because when i see the dress it's kind of a very cute way to have a dress for a princess and i don't know if all the princess may have the same design of for the dress and you just change colors but this is kind of a cool version to make a girl with a fancy dress okay so we are here then from here i'm gonna measure like something like two to three finger long that's it no more okay and then twist, 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 and that this is gonna be the tricky part, but it's not impossible. So you're gonna bend it, and cons, you know, keep in mind you're gonna bend this, and then you will need something, you know, space more to go back to that triangle shape here. Okay, so look at this. So you're gonna need all that. So let me give you what is uh, measurements. So something like one two ten finger long okay so you're gonna twist here work three finger long ten finger long something like here and look i hold the design like this so that way let me see if the camera is okay i hold the design this way and then look how i holding it twist 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 now go in a spiral but you holding this connection because you don't want this to get and twist and then go in a spiral whatever works better for you okay spiral i think is cool now you have this twist a couple of times because you don't want things to get into it especially because it's not any other balloon right now that covers this part in a moment is gonna happen and if it can untwist it's okay you can twist it back yeah now let's see three finger long and the rest you're gonna cut it you don't need this anymore okay so now all this you loosen the air and connect it to here with the other pinch twist so look at this cool interesting technique so it's a kind of interesting right what else from here now we're gonna play with a balloon 160 yellow if you don't have yellow go play with golden if you don't have golden play with many other 160 balloons closer to that okay because i think yellow or golden metallic gold it will work but i'm gonna, gonna i'm gonna go with yellow yellow 160 and you're going to inflate it, leaving four finger towel. Four finger towel. Two, two, two. I'm taking my time. And really, you can make this much faster. When you're at parties, make this much faster. You already got it. And it can be any color for any princess. I like that. Now, you're going to make a loop, like approximately a three finger loop. Twist, 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 twist. Lock. Now, pass it in any of these pinch twists to the sides, the shoulder. Let's pass it. Beep, 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 beep. And this is come the fun part. It's gonna be more for the for the breast, right? For the dress here. You're gonna pass it and whatever it takes you to go a little bit runnish. A little bit runnish from here. Look. Right okay, here. And two ways. So that is approximately four finger long, okay? Twist, 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 twist. Now we're gonna pass it in between in the middle so that can be tricky so be nice and gentle because balloons can be delicate and they can pop and then you're gonna go down and look when you already pass it one time there in this connection phew, then you're gonna go down nice and gentle measure the size you want it that is probably approximately um three finger long and then with this squish a stretch the 160 yellow and then go and follow the spiral the spiral effect okay so protect it there and then go with the spiral effect to go beep, 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 beep. and then twist 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 when you get to there to lock things there and then go back now we are here and in order to make things more stable here you're gonna go up okay you're gonna go up um from the middle again so that's gonna be the tricky part where I'm doing it from the back. Yep, from the back this time. So I'm gonna measure it was approximately three finger long and it's gonna pass through there again. Because it's a 160, it's much easier, okay? That's one thing that I can tell you it's good about the design. I'm playing with 160s and 260s. So now we connect it again into the what is this part? Into this. And look, if you just twist, 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 twist. That is going to stay. Don't worry because it's coming one more balloon. That is going to be the blush 160. So the, it's okay. You just lock it there. Coming from this part. And just lock it there for a moment. It's a moment. And then go up. And then go around. 
that's it and then with the rest you just need to make a loop three finger long three finger loop and twist okay why three finger loop because that's gonna be good enough for a balloon 160 blush to pass now with this you just cut it loose here and pass around pass it around lock things and also here you can always pass this line all the way through here in order to kind of like have a strain there why why not it's always just in case maybe this can be the connection for the head yes so that's why okay so look you have this design i think it's cool because it's all yellow you don't see too much the mess but with the same technique i remember it's pretty similar because i remember mr boma's balloon have a very cool way to make a pack dog and also a dress you know for princesses with you know this type so if you want to probably learn better <laughs> the tutorials this you can check his youtube channel now he doesn't do this way it's different that but i'm trying to go kind of easier believe it or not believe it or not <laughs> i try to make it easier okay or at least what i think you know for me kind of how the way i see it so now you have something like this let me put things let's now grab the balloon 160 um 160 blush so you will you can use a scrap maybe yes this is the half part of what i did or the what is the leftover of what I already used for the first princess belt? Because it's not really that much, you know, the arms. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna inflate all this little 160 and I'm gonna use this one that is, I like it because it's not noisy and that's really cool. It's just for 160, so it may take a moment to attach it, but it's okay. Push down. Wait, what? what it came undone oh what it's not working it's not plugged up oh, it's getting unplugged okay i was like what <laughs> there you go so you're not gonna need again all these probably but let's see approximately one two three four like 20 fingers inflated something like that approximately and you're gonna start Kind of like, look, measure the arm, something like this, something you, you see the design, you something like this, something like this. Okay. So that is approximately what? A finger long. And you can start passing it through the loop, look, like this. Open the loop and pull. Pew! And then you can, it's gonna be easier for you to see how long you want the arm. Something like that. That's long enough. So when you pass it through there, you measure something like six finger long. And then from here, kind of bend it, look, bend it, and you can make a little kind of half a loop. And just bend it and go into this thin twist. Then you are up here and now cover this part now. Yep, one, and it's gonna pass through. So this may be a, a little bit tricky, but it's not impossible. You remember, we're using right now 160s. So grab your bubble and pull up, okay? And just be nice and gentle, but at the same time, keep going, do not stop. And let me see. Oh, what I'm doing? Yeah, okay, and then the other one. Just keep going, just keep going. Now, for some reason, baby, it's not gonna be a good idea, but why not? I'm gonna pass and the arms are not that long to the end so that is okay look you are gonna end up with something like this you want it to be in the front the hands or in the back i prefer the back but you can keep it like this in the front and we're gonna see the difference okay we're gonna see the difference now let me just put things in proper position because yes things sometimes have to be accommodated okay accommodated and that's fine okay remember you don't have to make it perfect. This is just a representation and it's totally fine for things to not be perfect. You're gonna get something like this. Now with the hands, just measure kind of like the size you want it because it seems like these are too long and the arms here is too short. 
So now kind of like it's okay. You go measure the same size and kind of tie it together in the front. I'm doing this time in the front only because in the back uh, you can see the difference, whatever you prefer. Okay. Now here you cut the excess. Okay, you're gonna cut the excess to make it look better. Make it look better. Uh -huh. Just cutting. Pew! There you go. And pretty much it's ready that dress with the arms. Okay. So see now you think I can make this for line twisting? I don't know. I don't think so. But you can for sure do this for birthday parties. Think about it. If you want to try a different way to make a nice fancy dress, you can play it this way. Okay? So let's see. Now it is time to accommodate just bubbles and see what is going to be better here. But um, we need to attach the head. And that is another process. Another process. Because now you decide. You want to have the printed faces already or you want to have... Um, a quick link balloon to make things faster but with no face which is cheaper so that's what i'm gonna do that way i can show you the makeup part the part of the shop time it's gonna have shop time so let's move this like i'm a little bit up. now let's inflate and this is a linky balloon from Qualatex. that means it can grow even bigger but i don't need to put it bigger so i'm gonna make it in the size that i feel it's gonna be okay so this is big so something like this yep something like this that fits in the palm of your hand a little bit bigger maybe but that's it tie it like this so you have a long tip to attach you know the head to the body and here the good thing about this linking part if you don't have a linking bar it's okay you can use a round balloon and use the racing bean technique but i do have this linking balloon because i use it a lot for my sloth for babies for a lot of things that i share with you so check it out there is a playlist that says linking uh designs you know and it's a playlist with lots of designs there okay let's keep going well she had brown hair so let's go with brown and i'm gonna go with brown to 60. um let me look for my brown where is the brown one it's here for some reason now let's go with this machine that i already show you it's really cool you can find it on amazon and Thank you to my subscribers that send, you know, this type of equipment so then I can try it and I can tell you, I like it. I like this one, especially, because one thing is noisy, but look, the only thing is, it's a little bit of, why, wait, why it's not wanting to work? That makes me feel scared. It's kind of getting unplugged or I lose electricity. Man, let me see, like this. Or should I worry? I was talking so nice about this, and now it doesn't want to work. Why? Why? Well, it feels like it's fine, but <laughs> let's see. It feels, it smells okay. Right. Let me see. Plug. Hmm. It's gonna be sad to think that did this thing die too soon. Too soon man okay let's keep now tutorial it's it's this is more important <laughs> yes what happened it died yep so and it's not like i've been using it a lot i'm gonna i'm gonna unplug this one okay and then i'm gonna plug it in another spot just to make sure because i can't believe it that happened okay yeah okay i have news oh now it's working now it's working good thing now i'm gonna inflate it what just happened i don't know i don't know but good thing good thing it's working because i love this inflator quite you will see it's very um the ball that look at it you see When it's calling okay so you can inflate it approximately what five finger tail okay and i like because it doesn't make any much noise that's why but i was a square thinking oh no it died mm, i guess maybe i don't know i don't know what's going on but now i plug it and it's working so let's see so you're gonna make 
I loop, three finger loop, and a bubble pinch twist. Pretty much that's what I do. A bubble pinch twist and a loop. Okay, three finger loop. Grab this part, the linking part, and pass it around. Pew, 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 pew. And then grab the nassol. This is the way I do it, and I like it. So I don't know if you try this and you like it. I have it like this, and then with the middle finger twist. Okay, and then be locked. And then that 260 kiss can I go up and down, up and down, up and down a couple of times. How many is it still there? Four times. Yep, four times. Up and down four times. And then with whatever is left over, and this is another cool thing. Because it's whatever is left over, I do this. I measure like a loop, four finger loop approximately. And this is going to be right here. Twisting around and opening the loop and just there, lock there. That's it. This is my interpretation of that crazy hair she has. She has like a bow here and plus long hair, which make things, you know, that if you want to do the whole thing, well, this is a way to kind of like, and you know, I love the front. For me, the front is, is better. Yeah. Now, let's go with a second balloon. And you decide the second balloon brown, you want it to be 160 or it can be 260. I'm going to try with a 260 only because I already did it with 260 and I like it. So, And the trick is, let's try it again. How it works. How they work my inflator for time of day. It's so cool to have this inflator. It's a nice inflator. <laughs> Now it's working. Yeah, it must be the plug. Okay, let's keep blowing, 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 blowing. Because the trick about this, it's just just blowing almost all the way. Loose on air, tighten. Look, tighten the whole thing. This is a it's soft and squishable. It's better. Yeah, I like soft and squishable. And then look, you're gonna grab it like this to tighten, and then you split it in half like this. And with my middle fingers, middle fingers are in there now. And these two fingers are grooming and twisting. Do, 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 do. And here, and twist. Do, 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 do. Yep, that's it. You can load it if you want, but it's not necessary because what you need to do here is just pass it this around this part, all this. Yep. What is that, Cecilia? I don't know. I know, I'm telling you. This is a very cool thing. I just play with making bell. And also to show you something new, because that's another good thing I like to do. Show things new too. So you're going to end up with something like this. Look, look where I'm connecting the hair. So this is the back. You're looking at the back. Okay? And this is the front. <laughs> she looks kind of like with a sombrero. <laughs> that could be. You see, you can make a cowboy this way. Fancy, a funny one. Well... Here, this is what you use for. You, we make four bubbles with the 260, the first one brown. Okay, so you kind of split it and introduce these two in there. Like right, what? Yes, just introduce it there. For a moment, it's gonna be okay. And the same is gonna happen in this side. It's gonna introduce it that way. Now, how to make things stay, and this is the trick. You just grab this part and kind of like bend it like this, look. I'm kind of like in a spiral. I'm gonna go in a spiral a little bit. It's kind of like making a, a what? Making the weave, a type of weaving for flowers, but just like this. That effect there, like a little spiral, is gonna help this face, this hair stay like this. In this opening, which is the face there. So it's kind of like those skirts that we do with the spiral, but the trick is all about here, just bending. And look, things doesn't have to be perfect. Just do it like that and just leave it there. It's gonna be fine. Now let's attach the head with the rest of the, the stuff, the rest of the body. Just grab it and you just connect it right here. Look, you see, this is the front. So the idea is goes all the way down, all the way in behind, in between this bubble. And just, if you want, you can go all the way down tied it with a connection here or remember we did a string uh, that passes through there but you can just use it right now to tie it so just pass it into this line of balloon that we pass it to from one part of the shoulder to the other side of the shoulder and then we just connect it there why not it is possible and now it's just pass it go back tie it you decide there because there's many different ways you see, there's not a specific rule. It's whatever you feel is practical to you. 
And now you have something like this. Now look at the effect you made. Wait, Cecilia, she is kind of like possessed. She's looking like up. She can accommodate things now. How? Well, there's a way to accommodate things. If you don't find a way, you can always make sure you, you have another bubble here. But if you um another bubble, but if it's not just moving a little bit to the front and things are gonna stay there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? Yes, you just move it a little to the front and things are gonna be there. So whatever you want, the position is gonna stay. Now, is this a design you wanna give it to a little kid and then it's gonna destroy it right away? Maybe no. This is more for, you know, someone that really is already a kid that wanna take care of this balloon, you know? So because if they start shaking it, look, look, she's gonna, she's gonna go possess. But she keeps if you keep it like this with the head like that, or unless you want to pass another bubble here in the back, and I can do that, and it can be brown or it can be yellow, whatever you have available with you. Look, I, I found here a scrap, and I hope it's uh, it's okay, it's working. Let me try this inflator now. The, the idea is just pass something there to make it more stable and doesn't go up the height. But again, the pressure uh, of bubbles is not necessary, but in case you want to give this to a crazy kid, so you have to take this technique, a little, another extra bubble just so then it's helping her. And just attaching it with the yellow pinch press in the back, from one side to the other one. And that's it. And that's it. And uh, tell me in the comments, what do you think? Really, um, I was kind of like, man, I don't like it to make it, I don't want it to make it. But then when I make it, it was fun. So I guess it's okay. Um, okay, just, I just added another bubble just in case. But I don't know. You tell me what do you think. I think it's uh, it's uh, bad. It is what it is. Okay. Um, I prefer, I think, if the arms goes to the back, but from the, to the front and the back. Look. I kind of prefer both or no. The ones in the bag is my favorite. Okay, but both are nice. It's okay. Now let's do um, the Sharpie time. And this is kind of like interesting way to make Sharpie time. So I'm gonna put it right here so you can see. And there's the face that I was looking at. So that way you can have a better idea. And I like to look at my design, you know, the face right in front of me, it's easier. And then I'm gonna just go and make eyes. First, start with basic. Why I always start with basic? Because from there, I decide if I wanna be how elaborate I can be. One circle like this, and then from this look, we have the eyes go something like this. Believe it or not, she looks like it's mad. Yeah, but that's how it is. <laughs> yep, and then from here, it's gonna cut and gonna to make it look like that then with the sharpie we're gonna go and make eyelashes and that's gonna cover some of the part that you wanted to make it look you see? Mm -hmm, something like this it's gonna cover in that area mm -hmm. you see then you decide it's gonna cut some brown so you want to have brown there. You're going to have some brown. You're going to have some brown there. And then the rest is going to have um, white. And then the eyebrows here, something like this. See? So if you put the eyebrows a little bit to the side, it's going to make her face more softer than the, the eyes. Now, I remember I had to look straight, but it's kind of hard to show you. So she looks kind of like interesting face. I love Cecilia. And if this is a joke, if this is a joke, it's always way to fix it. But yeah, looking better, looking better. <laughs> what else from here? Well, the nose also, you can put a little balloon, but also a little balloon, you know, blush, glue to it. Or you can just make something like that, the way I see in the picture. And then the, for the leaves, look, go pim, pim, pim. Things doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, maybe I'm putting the mouse to the side, but I guess it's okay. 
I guess it's okay. This is what it is. It is what it is. I know. I know. Is that my phrase now? It is what it is. Actually, that's what people say to me sometimes. But... Now, from here, chapstick. I mean, lipstick. And then you can also do it for chapstick, for cheeks. Okay. And this is so optional, and you can make it much better, of course. You can make it much better. You can make it much better. I'm just showing the way of doing it. And then, brown. Look for you, brown, because she had brown eyes. So now, brown. And color the part. And all these, remember, all this is taking you time. So, if you have printed faces, it's going to save you time. You can even still put some color to your printed faces with your sharpies but you know now look how dark it looks the eyes so that's why white is gonna help you know to make those highlights uh, for the eyes to make it look cuter so I'm just covering you see the sides and then I'm gonna cover here a circle and then two small circles if you want a big circle and two small circles something like this and this is pretty much a face you know you can use it for a princess and also you can always make um she's kind of picasso face <laughs> okay but it's fine you can make also the triangle for the nose like pew pew okay but you can make it like that tell me in the comments what do you think now it's another difference uh, no but you can always make things better okay you can always play things much better please do it better than me uh play with this weaving idea for the hair i think it's kind of cool i like it and um have fun uh, look it doesn't have to be exactly the same you can even this is what i remember i was doing here the eyebrows i put also some brown some brown to make it look more you know like he she has brown brown eyebrows and a little bit more so it's up to you maybe cecilia come on put it make it with love make this design with love don't treat it that bad if it's something nice because really it have a lot of cool techniques now she's destroyed i guess i think she have a little bit of too much stress and part of her face is kind of going and melting but that now we know it can happen to balloons it's like <laughs> it's i'm not that well i'm not that good i'm not that you know good at making sharpie time but I, every time i make it there some some people like it it's like really i, I don't know you said me what do you think <laughs> this is one silly than the other one i don't know but i think it had potential that's the best part it had potential because that type of hair come on that is something new don't you think well the arms goes in the front or goes in the back that is another good thing what else this type of dress is a one balloon to 60 adding a one balloon 160 yellow and play with different colors you make him do other things i think it's a very cool design i hope you like it please tell me in the comments what you think and don't forget like comment subscribe and please check below in the description of all my videos because there you will find ideas how to support and collaborate with this channel because it's thanks to all your collaboration, your support, that this channel can be much better. I have a Venmo account, a PayPal account, so your donations are very well appreciated. Yes, yes, you can donate 5, 10, 20, as much as you can. Everything is very well appreciated because I can save money. You know, sometimes I think, oh yes, I, I need balloons and I use balloons. But the thing is, balloons don't last forever. So then if um, people send balloons and balloons and balloons and then, you know, I'm not using it, then they're not going to last and they're going to start getting too old. So it's better that I buy it probably on my own time, right? Anyways, as soon as I have, you know, variety, like assortment colors, I use it and make sure I use it all. Like, look, look at this. It's like I use it all the colors, all the balloons as possible. But um, always is good. For example, what is coming? It's going to be Easter and Easter, it will be fun and much be uh it's gonna make things much faster for me if i have those printed balloons that have bunnies or it has you know it's happy easter or something like that. those 11 inch round as easter balloons i don't see it but i i think you can find it on timo or amazon 
whatever you know you can collaborate with this channel send me those balloons that i know i would use it for example those easter 11 12 inch round you know printed designs for easter because then i'm gonna put it inside my clear balloons with polka dots that i have right here like these ones and i put it inside and then it looks amazing for my magic ones for easter and the same idea i do it for all occasion for halloween for new year's eve for christmas but it's just changing the balloon that is inside so this time it's gonna be for easter and the same with valentine's it will be you know cool but i have hearts so that's cool um what do you think your collaboration your support can be also for things to decorate the background for things that you know i use a lot why sharpies i use a lot what else i don't have those this like the same style as these sharpies they are also in other colors like for example yellow would be a good idea because yellow when you use your regular yellow it doesn't look good when you use it in any other color balloons but if you have those that are acrylic you know markers they can pop out of any you know color balloon you're using the yellow the same with the light blue and stuff like that okie dokie i'm leaving now thanks uh for watching this long video but princess has a specific character specific characters usually takes forever and this one really I'm trying to make it easy simple but still you know how to avoid time you know to save time printed faces how else linking balloons what else how else what else um just um what i don't know i think those are kind of pretty much <laughs> you don't need to add a more hair but i mean this kind of look cool okay have a wonderful day and thank you all again for watching the videos don't forget if you make anything because you watch these videos don't forget to tag me because that is some, something cool at the end of my videos even though that video look last forever i like to share also the pictures that you made you made designs you took a picture and you sent it to me you can tag me as at alpaca global or you can send it to my email alpaca global at gmail.com check out below in the description of all my videos there is lots of ideas how to collaborate with the channel my address is there so whatever you think ah, this may work for the balloon lady in cheyenne my um my friend from cheyenne I don't know, whatever. You can always, you know, send it to me and I'll be happy to open and share it with all the community because then we can see what is useful for. Okay? Remember I told you about tape? Well, tape, you know, it's a good idea. Okay, bye-bye.